Hey guys, I'm back with another hair care, hair shampoo conditioner video, deep conditioner video. Now, finally, I'm almost finished with the stuff that I have. Um, now, um, if you remember from earlier this year, I think towards January and Feb February, somewhere around that time frame, I did like a couple of like shampoo conditioners haul videos from Ulta and like Marshall's TJ Maxx. I think it was mainly TJ Maxx. Um, then a lot of those shampoo conditioners I have not used, obviously, because of the fact that they were keratin, protein-based shampoo conditioners. So, um, and in between, there were certain situations that I kind of had to deal with. So, like, it took a mini pause, but luckily, the main pause was the fact that I was using other shampoos and conditioners. Um, so yeah. Now, that being said, I am going to go over um, Awa NYC products. I have previously went over it before, but I think I specifically only spoke about this and it has been a while. However, I actually never used their conditioner. I mean, well, yes, I still have not used their conditioner. I still have been using their deep conditioner. But this is their Ava NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Shampoo. It's supposed to strengthen, revitalize, reduce uh, frizz. And this is the deep conditioner for this, well, shine mask for this one. They kind of go hand in hand, but they also have a conditioner in a bottle format as well, which I have not used. Now, this one is also uh, in a different line. It's a deep conditioner. Um, gives three times dehydration and softens the hair. Now, this is a plant protein. Now, I don't know why this actually works compared to the other proteins. I don't think the other proteins are plant-based from my assumption. But this, for some reason, always has worked for me, realistically speaking. So already from that conversation alone, you guys already know that I actually do like these parts of my hair. Um, I am going to continue using these. I feel like hairs do like get used to like products so you kind of have to give a break in between and then go back to it. So um, my break in between would honestly be like use a clarifying shampoo, then like a scalp scrub maybe, and then like the next shower probably do like a um just use like a different shampoo and then do like a gloss and then followed by like pre-bonding shampoo and the bonding shampoo condition stuff like that um to get that little oomph honestly um now the pre-bonding shampoo and the gloss shampoo i'm gonna make a video about i'm gonna be honest i previously was using the l'oreal gloss but this time around i'm trying something different so stay tuned for that one but anyways the gloss uh the the what's it called the the bonding one i probably might make a video next after this because i actually just used one today so but the brand remained i just didn't do a review beforehand but anyways um I uh, actually okay. So the ten in one is the strengthen. It strengthens the hair, revitalizes it, reduces frizz, softens it, moisturizes it, nourishes it, reduces breakage, smoothens the hair, and increases manage man manageability and healthy look and feel. Now, if your hair is smooth, shiny, silky, and it reduces frizz, um, automatically your hair does become manageable, and it does cause less breakage. So that's where it comes from. Now, if it just says less breakage, but it does not help with moisturizing the hair at all and hydrating it at all, then how is it helping you with breakage? So that is the stuff that you need to look for when it comes to that. Now, especially you have to see where the breakage is coming from. Breakage and hair falls to different things. Breakage is like breakage can happen like from the bottom, from here, like anywhere, like right now hair fall normally comes from the scalp so if you are seeing breakage um then that means double check if how hair how dry your hair is like when you shampoo your hair how dry it makes your hair at the time things like though what kind of condition you're using and everything 
so you kind of have to look into all the stuff if your hair has um was really good before and you see that it just gone greasy over the time and it's not I mean, nothing is working client client shampoo is your best friend try that use that once a week not once a week like once every two weeks once a month depending on how much hair products you're using on your scalp right so start with that and then afterwards see like how dry your hair is how like um how dry your hair is and the breaker situation if you always notice that your hair is starting to get dry you can actually start working on your hair right away um so that it doesn't go to the breakage part which was the reason why i completely stopped using protein like keratin let me say keratin majority of the price that says protein and then carrot the keratin specifically i just stopped using it i know this says plant-based um protein but this is the only one that says protein on it and actually works for my hair so yeah um so just keep in mind if it's not helping with hydration and moisturizing the breakers will continue to happen so just make sure that shampoo conditioning that you're using is working and targeting those now you obviously don't have to buy both of these now if you want to try with one and then go back and use the other one and if you want to use the shampoo with the conditioner as well they're pretty good now ulta has them i always buy from ulta um my deep conditioners are finished now i'm gonna i have another conditioner at home which was from andrew fitzsimone or something like that which i discussed about um before so i'm gonna actually use that to finish this the shampoo off and then i have another andrew fitzsimone or whatever it's called uh, which i have to use and i'll do a review on that as well so yeah but i would definitely recommend this give this a try especially if your hair is on the drier end and also if your hair is color treated my hair is color treated especially the ones who have bleach in their hair because last year somebody kind of wanted to mess up my hair and use bleach even though i showed her a picture which had nothing to do with being blonde but she claimed that the picture that she saw was blonde so she was probably telepathing to another somebody else's phone with pictures in it i don't know what was going on she put bleach in my hair and then my hair got extremely dry now after that when i colored my hair my hair wasn't as dry but i did color my hair um this past saturday today's the 21st i don't know if i'm posting this video today but like well five days ago saturday was five days ago so it's wednesday i don't know what i'm just saying i'm losing track but then i actually used i mean i've used this once which was on Saturday, Sunday because I didn't like how my hair was feeling. It worked and then today I did the pre-bonding and my hair feels amazing now. So yeah, I would personally recommend this if your hair is just severely damaged. Well, yeah, you will have to do a big, da uh, big chop at some point if your hair is severely damaged. But in the meantime, this would work if your hair is color treated um, or just straight up just on the dry and then a lot of breakage. So this I definitely would recommend. And then this is AYNYC. You can get it from their website or you can also get it from Ulta if where you live they have Ulta around. So this is a pretty good product. Other than that, please do let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to look into any other products. Other than that, I'll be linking both my Instagram pages. Make sure to follow, hit the subscribe button, the bell button, and I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.